we're gonna go along with our 2016 hunt winner. Now Art's gonna be hunting in one of my favorite places, Eastern Montana, after big trophy mule deer. To add to the action, Art's going to bring along his buddy Tom. We start glassing up a few bucks right away, but Rod has a particular buck that he's been seeing during the bow season in mind for Art. As we cautiously move to a new vantage point, we make a disastrous discovery. Well, folks, we watched this deer for the last six weeks and watched him every time we wanted to find him, we could find him. My guide put him to bed Thursday night, watched him all evening. We couldn't find him the next day, and this morning was opening day. Couldn't find him, couldn't find him. I happened to glance up here in this sagebrush, and some hunter, who obviously isn't a hunter in my opinion, because they're not man enough to do this during season when it's legal, poached him one night. So here's a 195 inch non-typical mule deer, it's just absolutely beautiful. And they have to do this, it's unbelievable. After a quick call to the local game warden, we find ourselves back to square one on this hunt, trying to locate another good mule deer buck for Art and a whitetail buck for Tom. Saw a lot of deer tonight. We saw 75 bucks just tonight. Put some glass on some really nice mule deer. Just wouldn't put themselves in a good spot. All we could do is keep putting miles on, keep looking. So, went right behind those trees. You hit him good, but good work, Tom. Nice shot. That's <clears throat> a nice white tail. Yeah, it was a good white tail. Yeah, try to see if we can find him. That's a really a nice, nice white tail for Eastern Montana. Just so happened to come across this one this evening, and he made a great shot. It's been warm. It's been 65 degrees, maybe 70. Had some wind. Yeah, it hasn't been ideal hunting conditions, but we made this one work, so. Well, folks, we're on morning of day four. We've been looking a lot of bucks, and we finally got one in a spot that we think we can get to them. So we're just gonna head up over this ridge. Wind is good. They're just grazing and feeding along into some sage. I think we can make it happen. Let's go see what we can get done. Is great. This buck is 
just over this ridge. Wind's blowing right in our face. It's outstanding if we can just get waded through a bunch of these deer without spooking them too bad. I think we'll be fine. We'll have to go up there, go about 200 yards, and he should be within 100. was planned but there's too many eyes and we got too close so I guess we'll just uh, wait for him to, this evening he'll probably put himself in a good spot for us again anyway so like I said we didn't pump him so now well, there's just way too many deer to go in after him now those go brush up in there and lay down and come back tonight as the afternoon heat passes we find a new buck to pursue. Got a really good deer spotted that we've been watching for the last three days. And he finally put himself in a good spot. We're gonna try him on. He's watchy, real watchy. But we'll see if we can't get in front of him. still see him? No, but he's back here. He's gonna try to come where they want to think. We think Art's first shot hammers the buck in the spine, but the next thing we know, the deer is up and moving again. Oh, get another one ready. Let's not trick around anymore. Yeah, he's hit, Art. 
Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Good work. Thank you. Good work on your part. He's a beauty. His main beam is ridiculous. We're here with Art Janky, our 2016 EHJ hunt winner. Won this hunt by just subscribing, sending his, in his renewal to Eastman's Hunting Journal. I bet that's probably the best 25 bucks you ever spent. <laughs> Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. <laughs>